Microsoft information protection has been around for quite a while now, and it's misunderstood really about how it integrates into the rest of the platform, not just in Office 365, but also in Azure Purview for other data repositories and lakes, AIP Scanner for files that sit on premises still, MCAS, which is looking at cloud apps, not just within Microsoft, but also third party apps as well. And then in the Office Suite, where we can automatically scan that file once it's opened, and then tell the end user, hey, this should have the appropriate label applied, or we're gonna enforce that label. What we're gonna talk about today is simulation mode within Office 365. So the benefits of that really is once we've created that sensitivity label, we can automatically assign that based on files and emails that matches a certain condition. From an end user point of view, that's quite important because we don't have to train the end users to understand what each classification does. We don't have to rely on end users to classify that content all the time. And users no longer have to know about the policies. Instead, they can just focus on their work. Simulation mode allows you to use or reuse those sensitivity labels and then automatically apply an auto labeling policy. So we can go into the interface here, create a new label, tell it what conditions, or what types of data that we're looking for. We can use the built-in sensitive information types here, or we can use our custom ones, or we can use train up classifiers. Then we can say, what are the locations I'm interested in? So if it's Exchange, this is done on data in transit. So we're sending receiving files, and at that point, we're matching those conditions and applying that classification. If it's SharePoint or OneDrive, then we can scan that content at rest and then automatically suggest a label. We can also be quite granular with these rules as well. So we can go in and customize these if we need to. And then we're gonna go and choose our label. So if you match these conditions for that data, so UK financial information, apply a highly confidential label to it. So if I click next, you'll notice that I've got two options, run it in simulation mode or leave the policy turned off. Simulation mode is going to go away, discover that data, and then bring me the results. So me as a human being, I can review what the system thinks it's going to automatically classify and add protection to, and then I can review that and then turn on the policy if I need to. So over in here, you can see I've got a policy that's already in a simulation mode. This allows me to go in and see matched items, and I'll be able to see a list of those items that it's found. Also be able to see a preview of this if I've got appropriate rights. So let's have a quick look at a policy that's already turned on. So this one is applying a label of highly confidential. We've got some custom sensitive information types based on project code names. And then we're looking at data in transit for email and also SharePoint sites of which there are five. We can find this information really easily if we head over to the data classifications portal under the content explorer, we can pick up the highly confidential or confidential sensitivity label if we've got the appropriate rights, we can drill down into those repositories then and get a list of all those files that contain that classification type. And that's all we've got time for today. If you need more information, have a look at the description field below.